Welcome back to Wolves News. I'm Esme Miranda. It's Friday, September 28, 2018. Sophomores and juniors planning to attend college can register for the PSAT test on Wednesday, October 10th at 7.30 a.m. The cost to take the test is $16. You can pay by check or cash. The test is limited to a certain number of students, so please register in the Student Services Office as soon as possible. The deadline to register is Tuesday, October 2nd. The AAA Driving School is accepting 35 students for their semester. The class is every Tuesday and Thursday from 3.15 to 5.15 in the second floor of the library. The classes will run from October 23rd to December 6th. If you are interested, please stop by Student Services. Freshman class t-shirts are still on sale. Please pick up an order form from your PAC teacher. T-shirts are $10 and long sleeve t-shirts are $15. The credit union is open during all lunches. Students 15 and older can sign up for a savings or checkings account. You will need to know your social security number, have your school or state ID along with a completed application. Talk to a CU representative today. Make a difference in the lives of WCHS students and their families with a simple gesture. Help stock the Wolfpack Pantry. We are currently in need of the following items. Kid-friendly cereal, Pop-Tarts, deodorant, razors, shampoo, body wash, small bottles of dish detergent, and fabric softener sheets. You can drop off donations in the gray bin found in the WCHS office. West Claremont by request is having a fundraiser for their team to participate in the Out of the Darkness Walk in Cincinnati this October. They are selling t-shirts for $10 now into the walk. Proceeds from the walk will help the Greater Cincinnati Area Mental Health Services and Suicide Awareness and Prevention Programs. We encourage anyone to donate $10 for those who are on free or reduced lunch so that they too can be a part of this great cause. If you are a student that would benefit from the donation, please see Ms. Brettlinger or Mr. Bailey. Save the date for October 10th for the WCHS blood drive. You must be 16 or older to give. Each donor can help save up to four lives. Watch for a table on Main Street during the next two weeks at lunch to sign up. Homecoming ticket sales end today. Tickets are $15 and you will need your student ID or your student ID number. You'll need to sign a behavior contract and have at least half of your fees paid or have set up a payment plan. The dance starts at 8 and goes to 11 p.m. Snacks and drinks will be provided by the PTSO. To end our exciting spirit week, we'll have a pep assembly at 2.15 today. That's it for our building announcements. Let's take a look at the weather for this weekend and next week with Emma and Kenzie. Welcome back, Wolfpack. Next week is going to be cold. Today's September 28th. We have a high of 73, a low of 53. Be sure to enjoy the game. Saturday, September 29th, we have a high of 70 and a low of 51. There will be some morning showers. Sunday, September 30th, we have a high of 64, a low of 48. There will be some evening showers. Monday, October 1st, we have a high of 64 and a low of 45. There will be some morning showers. Tuesday, October 2nd, we have a high of 63 and a low of 46. It will be mostly sunny, so enjoy the outdoors. Wednesday, October 3rd, we have a high of 66 and a low of 46. There will be some showers. Thursday, October 4th, we have a high of 67 and a low of 51. Friday, October 5th, we have a high of 70 and a low of 53. There will be some morning showers. And here's the weather joke of the week. What does a panda ghost eat? Bamboo. <laughs> That's it for the week's weather report. I'm Emma Phipps. And I'm Kinsey Chode. Back to you, Esme. Thanks, Emma and Kinsey. Here's the upcoming week's lunch menu with Nico. Thanks, Asmi. And now for the lunch menu. Today, there will be chicken nuggets with, served with your warm dinner roll, choice of dipping sauce, and delicious baked beans. Next Monday, we'll have a Cincy cheesesteak sandwich and peppers and onions. Tuesday, we're having a JTM beef taco in a bag with brown rice, cheese, and black beans. Wednesday, we'll have a steak hoagie with marinara and cheese. Thursday, there will be a classic grilled cheese and tomato soup. And next Friday, we'll have popcorn chicken served with your choice of dipping sauce. The meal will be plated with a dinner roll and delicious baked beans. I'm Nico Sartori. Back to you, Esme. Thank you, Esme, and welcome to sports. I'm Kevin Jimenez. Tonight, we're against Loveland for football. Good luck, Wolves. This week, our soccer teams did well with our boys winning 3-0 on Monday against Northwest and the girls who tied 1-1 to, to Kings on their senior night. 
for cross country, a lot of people beat their own PRs at the Centerville meet last weekend. Good job, boys and girls. For volleyball, we sadly lost to Turpin on Tuesday. That's all for sports. Back to you, Esme. Prom committee needs interested juniors and seniors to help plan WCHS's second prom. You'll help with the budget, favors, creating tickets, and decoration. If you're interested, sign up for Remind 101 by texting at GH2E6K to 81010. Gaming Club meets Wednesdays in room 133 from 3 to 5 p.m. Gaming Club plays tabletop games and school-approved electronics. See Mrs. Munden if you have any questions. BattleBots meets this week in Mr. Paul's room, 200C. Teams choose their own times to meet. Contact Mr. Paul for any questions. Photography Club meets every two weeks in room 155. Photography Club is an excellent opportunity for students to learn more about cameras and get to take pictures outside of the regular photography class. Contact Mr. Curlis if you have any questions. Interest in volleyball, basketball, or flag football? See Mr. Ball for any questions. Art Club and NAHS both meet on Tuesday with Mrs. Schof in room 252 from 3 to 4. Art Club is a place where students can meet other artists and work on their own projects. NAHS is to recognize students who show outstanding abilities in art. Environmental Club meets Friday after school from 3 until 4.30. Any students interested in helping our building reduce paper and plastic waste or who need community service hours should join. Contact Mrs. Fightmaster. Books are arriving. Pick up yours at the next book club meeting and bring your Claremont County Library card. Coming in October, special guest Miss Books will be bringing top book recommendations for Halloween lovers. That's it for Clubs, Arts, and Music. I'm Ansley Wyan. Welcome back to Cincy House. Continuing on here in Cincinnati, we have Shakespeare in Love down at the Playhouse in the Park. Also today and tomorrow at the Contemporary Arts Center, Tiago Rodriguez will present By Heart. By Heart is about the importance of communication, of how words and ideas are stowed away and smuggled through our memories, our minds, and our hearts. It's about theater as a safe house for forbidden texts, a guarantee of civilization and resistance even in the most barbaric and desolate times. This weekend, the Pirates are here in Cincinnati taking on the Reds. The game this evening starts at 6.40 p.m. The Bengals are on the road in Atlanta taking on the Falcons. The game starts at 1 p.m. and will be broadcast on CBS. Just a reminder that Halloween Haunt is going on Friday and Saturday right now through October 28th at Kings Island. The Renaissance Festival will continue through October 29th. That's all we have for this week. Back to you, Esme. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to be notified first when we post our weekly editions. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at WCHS Productions. We post behind the scenes pictures and videos, as well as student teacher polls. Wolves, do you know what PAC means? PAC stands for Pride, Academics, Community, and Kindness. Make sure you are representing the PAC well. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Esme Miranda with Wolves Student News. See you next Friday. Hello everyone, welcome back to another segment of Down the Rabbit Hole. Before we begin, I would like to mention a question multiple people had about one of the last theories in a previous segment. Last time on Down the Rabbit Hole, we discussed theories about the Titanic and its sinking. Multiple people said that a U-boat couldn't have sunk the Titanic because they were not invented yet. If you simply Google when was the first U-boat used, it actually says that the first submarine Germany made was tested on February 1st, 1850, and the first successful launch was in 1903. So the German army clearly had the technology by 1912 to sink a vessel. Since that's out of the way, let's talk about the theory we are discussing today. We are talking about fake space launches. No, not the moon landing, though that segment will come sometime soon. I will be talking about the Falcon Heavy launch. Remember back in February of this year, when Elon Musk supposedly shot his 2008 Tesla Roadster into space and was sending it into orbit? 
I was actually surprised how many people just believed it and went on their lives thinking there was a car in orbit around the sun in the vacuum of space. But if you actually do some research, you'll find that the temperature in space around Earth can be heated up to a whopping 248 degrees by solar radiation and can dip as low as minus 148 degrees. Do you really think that SpaceX could build a car that could withstand these temperatures? If that's still not enough to convince you, I'll show you what actually happened during Tesla's live broadcast of the space launch. As you can see, during the live stream, the car was sitting there, you know, floating in space. All of a sudden, glitches back into something, and then poof, right back into space. You can tell it's either edited or looped footage because the cloud formation on the Earth doesn't even change or move. Some people say it's because they were playing the best parts of the live stream, but it's a live stream. It, it's, it's a live broadcast. People also describe how these pictures of the 2008 Roadster look similar to the livestream glitch and assume it to be the place the footage was recorded. You might ask why Elon Musk and SpaceX would fake a rocket launch, and I have a clear answer for you. They make hundreds of millions of dollars off of it. It's really that simple. If you like this segment of Down the Rabbit Hole, be sure to tune back in October 12th for the next segment. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. 